Welcome, welcome. Today we're going to try and play some solo challenge and we'll try and squeeze it through. This is the day after my birthday, so I have the opportunity to respond and say thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the delightful uh, support and, you know, well wishes and stuff coming from all around. That was great. So, here we are today looking at what I think is a pretty interesting go, just standard technology, UNMI. Um, I do wonder if it's worth buying just release of inert gas, though, for the first turn. What else could you get? Space mirror? Because, like, standard technology makes it really easy to buy an asteroid every round. But there is something to be said about, you know, why spend 11 on an asteroid? Because, you know, three back order. Or when I can spend 17 to get two, 20 using my ability to get three in the first round. I wouldn't have enough left for Space Mirror. But it's such a good card. But maybe I just leave it behind, you know? Here's the thing, though. If I only have enough money to play this... Right, right now, with all of my cards, I have 30, or $31 left. I play this, and I do my bump. That's another, what, 17 So I have like 12 bucks left. I may as well grab something. You know, maybe even Nitrophilic Moss is a really good idea. We just, instead of spamming heat bumps early, we spam oceans early. I might, I'm going to lean towards that. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to heat bump, or TR bump. So that way we start with a little bit of early TR, and then we'll just lean into the ocean. And as long as we get two um, plants, we'll have enough to play Nitrophilic Moss. Deimos and Advanced Alloys are both powerful. I just want to have enough to play our cards out, right? So this and then 18 for an ocean and then 3 for the bump. I think we're going to avoid Deimos down. I don't know. I'm still a fan of my giant space mirrors for energy. I just as much as I like the oh aquifer pumping, that's that's the investment I really want to be making. Yeah, it really is. Sorry, my thought is, as much as I like that I've grabbed that card, we haven't had to use it, which is kind of good news for us. Tone a Comet is also helpful. I can't do Aquifer Pumping this round, because it's so expensive to get out that first turn. None of this is super great, though. So let me aquifer. This time I'm going to do it for the steel to make aquifer pumping easier in the future. And then we will do our TR bump. If we're only doing one thing around, that's kind of not great. But we'll get there. We'll get there. I feel like right now I'm doing an outside-the-box run. Can you do a TR with just the one card? Yada yada. You probably can. So there we go. That gets us the ocean. Um, I really wanted Nitrophilic Moss this turn, but I maybe I should have. I didn't want to put off aquifer pumping any longer. If we're going to be buying oceans, aquifer pumping, I think, is one of the strongest cards for UNMI. I really like a lot of these cards. I'd like to start playing cards. I just don't know how to go about doing it. We have energy in our hand. I'm going to do the development center grab. 
I, I need to do the aquifer pumping because that's the cheapest source of TR you're going to get. Gets us some money back. Then nitrophilic moss is a really powerful plant generator for us. Like we have what? Eight productions or nine productions of two plants, right? That's two greeneries I got for eight bucks. And then not to mention the adjacencies and the scooping that you get for placing them on the board. It's pretty great. How about these neutral stuff? Ooh, AI Central. It's a little bit late for uh, Arctic Algae. I will take AI Central, though. Hmm. I really want some energy production, which makes you want to do deep well heating. If I do deep well heating, that gives me enough for the energy bump, then I do this. And then I can debate whether or not it's important in my mind to place an ocean this turn. I think I should just for the income. Eight bucks to make, you know, eight productions of a dollar. It's a free ocean. It's free real estate. Hmm. I don't think we want any of this. Heat is currently our biggest issue, but we do have the one card in the game that lets us break the rules and just buy it so easily. Yes, I'm talking about you, standard technology. Um, I don't know where we're going to put our cities, but like, there's a lot of greenery potential, but it might just have to be squandered. I don't know if I'm more interested in the money or what. I'll get to get the energy, because that will get us heat. I'm just going to start in this main bed here of plants, and we'll have to uh, figure out. And because I built the greenery, I didn't have to buy the ocean that round. So it was a good turn to, if you ever you were going to skip buying an aquifer on a given round, we want to do it on a round where we have a source of TR coming from somewhere else. Whew, there's some heat bumps. Oh, what's better? Are we more interested in the heat bumps or getting our free card and getting this, you know, energy stuff rolling? I think we want the ironworks. We do the ironworks. We oh, we should have got a card first. Always get the card first. Satellites. I'm pretty sure we're not playing many tags. Um, oh, why did I grab the card? I grabbed the ironworks. Oh my god, I've never felt so incompetent. Um, I'm going to buy a power plant, though, so I can run it in the future. But damn, I, uh, I completely botched that. Oh my god. I'm like, don't grab the card so that you can do the ironworks. And then I said, oh, but you always want to grab the card first. And then everybody watching was like, Why are you like this? Hmm. I'm kind of into the amount of space stuff we have going on right now. So let's let's do our bump of oxygen because I need to not screw it up. Let's get a card because I need to not screw that up. So if I build this, then I build this, then we get this, 
we got some income, right? We got four income there. We got some more energy. We got our science tag. We have cost reduction now. And I have enough left over to buy not only a TR bum, but an ocean. And the question is, do I get the ocean for the plants? Yes. And then I'll go up here and grab... Let's just keep up with the two plants. Two plants at a time. Two plants is a great strat. Let's get two plants. Because we have two plant production. So we'll keep hitting these even eight plant increments. And that uh, that feels pretty good. I wanted the titanium because we have a you know, big asteroid and stuff. But... Hmm. I would like to oxygen. I would like to get a card. I would then like to get AI Central. It's really expensive. But we still have five energy production after buying it. Plantation's good. Industrial microbes is also powerful. But I all I want to get our TR bump every turn. I think the heat production is fine. I could have bought an ocean, put the ocean down here for titanium, and uh you know, that would have been cool, but I did not want to. I wonder if it's worth local heat trapping, but I don't think so because we are so much further behind on heat than we are on um, anything else, really. Heat is... I, I, I keep treating it like it's not an issue because we have standard technology, but at one point it very much becomes an issue. Protected Valley. It's also expensive. Like, I kind of want all this stuff. I don't know where I put that city, though. I'm going to do it. Then I'm going to get a card. Then I'm going to get two cards. Then I'm going to get an oxygen bomb. Earth office is good. Fusion power is good. I want to start with the research outpost because that's minus one to everything. Do I have things that require steel? Yes. Okay, I'll put a city here. Um. This is now free. I mean, I think I can get the... I want shuttles, but now I need more energy, or I'm going to have to give up on one of my card draws, which is, like, fine. We're so close to being able to get the big asteroid that it's really upsetting. I think I can get Protected Valley, though. Place it like, where would we place it? Just here, so you can build up and out. In, th in that case, I should buy an ocean, but then I don't have enough for the protected valley. This game's hard. Have you guys played this game before? It's pretty freaking hard. If I put this here, then it's really easy for me to justify the protected valley. Um, let's lose an income for the ability to look at a card and choose or not to buy it. Let's stay away from that. I like the city, but I have a way of getting over to this side of the board already. An invention contest? This is the only one I can see helping us out of a jam. But we've given up a lot of our micro synergy cards already. 
Okay. I do think we're in a better spot than it looks. Like minus five on science tags or uh, space tags can bring us pretty far. Micro mills. Three heat for five bucks is not a deal. None of this is a deal. It's all yikes o'clock. Now I need big asteroid. To the point where I'm willing to indenture my workforce to get the big asteroid. Okay. Now I'd like to create steel. I should always, 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 always grab two cards. Thankfully it didn't matter. And that doesn't matter to us either. As much as I'd like to get more energy, it's not that critical and I have other ways of doing it. So Protected Valley gets me where I want to be, which is over here. I can then place my greenery for more money. That's why I built the oceans kitty cornered, kind of like that, obviously. If I buy Regolith Eaters, it's 12 bucks for a single oxygen bump, but is that my issue right now? I'm not convinced it is. Especially when I can spend 15 bucks just for a plantation and get the placement out of it. How do we get the heat up other than just pa paying for it? Like, I might just pay for it. Because we need it. We need it desperately. We buy Asteroid. Won't I get enough money back? No, I only get one. Because I don't have enough money up front. I could buy an ocean, and then we'd be one ocean away. We have four titanium. That means that I'm going to buy an ocean. And place it here. But then I don't have enough for my TR bump. Don't worry, because I'm going to do this. Which, honestly, I could have done with the uh, the other microbe card to get an oxygen bump this turn, but I didn't want to do it that way. Because I wanted this. So that felt alright. The oxygen is coming, and in fact, I think it's pretty well guaranteed with the fact that we can do an oxygen bump every turn. The oceans are done as long as we get the heat all the way. This does not help us with the heat. This helps us with some oxygen. We do not care about oxygen. Let's get two cards. Let's get another card. Eh, I don't think there's actual value in this. I'm sorry. I, lo I love the card cycle, but sadly, I think the big play is not going to be anything other than heat bump, heat bump, heat bump, heat bump, heat bump. So I'm going to start it now. We're going to get far with this. Three bucks back every time. You know, it's really making up for a deficit we have. Sadly, we're going to be one heat away from a break point. But standard technology working it for us. I just, you know, put in your bets now. A, are you enjoying the episode? And B, um, how are we going to score? Like, I think we're going to win. But are we going to score well? You know what? I will buy this because I think I want it either way for three bucks. Um, and it lets us draw a card next turn. Like, we should be able to win this, right? Like, we have... So much TR income. We have six heat bumps worth. Well, maybe not. Still need a lot of ocean or a lot of a lot of stuff. Okay, draw me some cards. What do we got? No, 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 no. Draw me a card. Cry me a river. Look at a card. Oxygen. <laughs> I see uh, the plantation card we have. 
which is 15 bucks for a greenery. We place it here, that gives us two plants, bam, we have a greenery for free. We're just missing one oxygen. Which means we're probably going to have to pay for it. But I don't know if we can, because we need to click this asteroid button too many times. Yikes! This is, um, not how I thought this would go. I thought that focusing oceans early would be a viable thing, but really, it felt like it was anything but. Does that mean that I double down on this strategy that I know is failing, or do I... I don't know what I do. I think I, I, think I have to continue down that path. And we plantation. Now, if I greenery in here... That's like a decent chunk of change back. If I sell... Well, this would have been four plants. I didn't realize I had a way of generating more plants. Let's, uh, let's hold on to that for a second. Because you're telling me, if I buy a greenery, I place it here. Why would you do that? Well, because then you do this one, and then you get four plants. So then you end up getting both greeneries anyway. This one we put down for some cash monies. Well, do we even? Like, I, uh, I want to play it out, but, like, I think it's done. I think we just put this beside the city. Like, we could have got nine bucks and then sold these and gone to 11. Oh, yikes a clock. Hard mode is hard mode. Turns out it's not easy. I wonder if we would have won with just standard tech. But, like, I don't, I don't feel like so. Yikes, how low is the score? Honestly, 80 is higher than I expected. Ugh. Happy birthday, welcome back. Here's a devastatingly hard run. Ugh. That's what I asked for, though. So I'm just happy we got to the end of the recording. So I will see you. Can you hear me? I'll see you next time. Cheers.